most people in America from with what is and isn't technologically their rights. And yet we have people who are abusive to others through technology and their might. Their might is I have a mouth and I can tell a lie, I can spin a story, I can ruin someone's life with my marvelous gossip, and people do do that. It's amazing how many people will walk out of a Dollar Tree that I've never seen, i never paid attention to, and will stare at me. Just now, a mulatto black child, basically a child that's light-skinned, walked out of the dollar shop, a young boy, probably 11 or 12, staring at me the whole time. So I decided to call him out on it because men have to call young men out on their shit. And if we don't do that, how do we help them one bit? You see, it's attitudes like that that I have the right to stare at you is not the problem. It's what it communicates to an elderly gentleman who doesn't need that. Now, while I might be old school and certainly plenty of times in the jail that I was held in after all the cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud of my life placed me there on top of a bitch on wheels judge who thought she'd meant to help me. And I thought, what the fuck degree do you have? And why should I have to be medicated because you want to feel like putting me on something? I don't need that. And liars in America like to do that. They like to sell drugs up and down the street. They like to play in and play out with information that's not theirs and greed. And openly, I don't have to like your employees. But if your employees are hacking my computer, let's be clear, that is illegal in America. It is called cybercrime. It is investigated by the FBI. It is a form of fraud. And it is identity theft. So stop doing that. It's pretty straightforward. Just stop doing it. And then you're okay. But the minute you start ruining my computers, the minute you start hacking my phones, the minute you start deleting my photographs, you prove who you are in America. You're a liar, you're a thief, you're a cheater, and you deserve to be behind bars. Do not play in my life if you think I'm that stupid, because I am not that stupid, motherfucker. I have an IQ, according to a pastor this morning, that's pretty high, but he was too busy pissing at me with his attitude about that I was confused about my life in Jesus Christ. And I thought, really? I get more fucking advanced notice about who's coming to see me than you could possibly imagine, and you just think I'm not understanding God. You're foolish. But we don't have the right to be in love with the Lord anymore, according to the world. And isn't that what it says in Scripture? That people are more in love the, with the world than they are with the Lord Most High. And that's the lie they told themselves. They have stolen intellectual property. They're using it to fund their families. And they're doing it without any type of kickback to me. And that is an abuse of relationship marketing because there is no relationship there. That is also an affordable affiliate marketing because they're not doing anything right by there. Now, if I can talk about these things, you can talk about these things. But if you think you can play me, please go back in time, describe my whole life to the new person you're trying to sell me to as you, and lie. In America, we have rights, and you're taking away my rights by saying I'm not smart enough to help you. I am smart enough to help you. I help little college girls to put their LinkedIn profiles online. I help them to learn a little bit about what they should do. That doesn't mean that they're going to remember. It doesn't mean they're going to listen. It doesn't mean they're going to do well. It might mean that they'll end up in some stupid company working, selling pot out of the motherfucking truck. But that's not on me. That's on their life, their choices, and their infinite wisdom about the world. But what I've said to most people who are interested in that, why don't you go work for a pharmaceutical company where you can actually do some good, do some positive research, do some actual intelligence work, and then maybe after that, once you're more mature, once you have enough money in the bank, once you're paying for your own automobiles, once you're paying for your own life instead of living on mommy's and daddy's bank accounts, then maybe you can dabble in your hobbies. 